if you don't have your timing set right, if it's advanced too far, it makes them crank hard, especially after it's hot and you turn it off and then it, you go to start it, it wants to crank really slow. And uh, so, you know, get yourself a good tune-up, new spark plugs, wires, cat rotor condenser, and everything, and, uh, you know, and, and they start up right away. There's no problem with them. Uh, you know, if you're going to put a lot of accessories on, you want to put off-road lights on and all other kinds of stuff, well, then I would say to you, maybe you want to change the 12 volts. Um, it's a lot more convenient because you can't buy that stuff on 6 volts. And another thing is, is people always call me up and ask me about changing the generator to an alternator because somebody puts it on the website that, you know, alternator is better. Well, alternator is a little better, but on an old Jeep, if you're keeping the original motor and all the other stuff on it, the generator works just fine. Uh, the only thing on the generator, when you're sitting on idle, they don't charge. But as soon as you step on the gas, they're charging together, and they charge just as good and as fast as an alternator. And, uh, you know, so it's really not a big issue there either. Uh, you have to change to a, a, an alternator because the generators just work just fine. All my old Jeeps that I have all have the generators and voltage regulators on, and I don't handle trouble with them. All on 6 volts, and, and you have a really good starter guy around who knows this stuff you can always if you could take the whole Jeep over there and get him to tweak your uh, voltage regulator a little bit that puts out closer to 8 volts it'll make things a little easier starting too but not too many guys who really know how to do that and you don't want to give it to somebody to do it unless they really know what they're doing as most of the old guys who know how to do that stuff are you know passing away here so that's not an easy thing to find somebody to do for you anymore. People think on 6 volt that the lights aren't as bright as they are on 12 volt. Well that's not true either. If you have your voltage regulator set right and it's charging right, your lights are just as bright on 6 volt as they are on 12. On these parking lights, this is a 46 CJ2A. Drill out the back of the light uh, and solder and uh, brazed in uh, those newer sockets so I can put 1157 bulb in the parking light, the bullet light there so that I could put turn signals in my bullet lights and take my uh, turn signal lights off the top of my fenders because it makes the Jeep look a lot better. Let's put them up under the dash.